Hi all! In this video I will explain the different career options in software testing. There are so many titles in software testing, such as Software Development Engineer in Test, QA Engineer, Test Engineer, Test Analyst, Test Architect. So I will clarify all of them and at the end you will clearly understand software testing career paths. This video is part of my Udemy Education Test Automation Foundations. You can find a discount coupon in the descriptions. Let's get started. Hi all. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the career path of test automation. Test automation is part of the software testing career path. So to understand the test automation career, we will go through all possible roles as software testers and understand the differences between functions. After this lesson, you will have a clear understanding of the responsibilities of various software testing positions, including test automation. Let's start with the basics of the software test position first. To move into a senior position such as automation engineering or test analyst, you need to have a solid understanding of software testing. I have a whole course on software testing, but to put it briefly, you need several essential skills to work as a software test engineer. One is understanding the software development lifecycle. Without it, it is impossible for us to perform our duties. Software development lifecycle is a process used by the software industry to design, develop, and test high-quality software. Another important skill is the knowledge of IT project management. It can be a Scrum, Waterfall, V model. Every company has its way of working, but it is important to understand the basics and after that you can easily adapt to the way of working of the company. You must also master test methodologies. When I say test methodologies here, I mean ISTQB methods for functional and non-functional testing. Last but not least, you need to understand how to test web, mobile and APIs. Of course, you don't need to master all of them. But it is essential to have an intermediate understanding of different platforms and how to test them. There are many other essential skills, but for me, these four are the most important skills to perform the basics of our tasks as software testers. It can take months or sometimes years to learn those essential skills. You can learn it in college or through online courses. In addition to theoretical knowledge, practice is of course also very important. Once you master the basics, you have multiple career choices. Here you can have dozens of different options, but in my opinion, we can abstract it into two. One is the technical path and the other is the process-oriented path. If your goal is to become a test automation engineer, you should follow the technical path. And if your goal is to become a test analyst or a coordinator, you should follow the process-oriented path. Let's briefly review each of the roles to understand the responsibilities of the position. If you have decided to follow process-oriented path, you can become a test coordinator or test analyst. Either path can lead to QA lead, or QA manager positions. In general, test coordinators are therefore responsible for the planning, management, and execution of the test process within planning and budget and the right quality for at most one test level or test type. Also, they usually lead internal consultations and sometimes lead a small team of testers. Test analysts are responsible for initially identifying and subsequently defining the required tests, monitoring the test coverage, and evaluating the overall quality experienced when testing the target test items. Compared to the test coordinators, they are more focused on documentation and testing processes. They usually work as a part of a testing team. After this role, you can become a test lead or test QA manager. I know there are so many roles related to software testing, and I see so many different terms used in businesses, and often they have different functions as well. But in my opinion, both the QA lead and QA manager roles are management roles. Typically, you will lead several software testers and develop quality control policies and standards. In both roles, you work closely with management. An important difference from the QA manager role is that QA managers usually work closely with the customers. 
So you see QA manager roles in large companies where they build projects in collaboration with other companies. So as I said, odd roles are management positions and in half of the ID companies, you will see QA lead role as a top QA role and in the other half, the QA manager is the top role in the organization charts. All right, I have explained the process oriented roles. Now let's look at the more technical roles. After you master the basics of software testing, you can decide to become a test automation engineer. This position is increasing. There is a huge demand in the current market. And I am not saying it is a better path than the process oriented path, but automation engineers are in more demand and mastering the skills can help you to land your dream job. Test automation engineers are software developers who design and write programs that perform automatic tests on new or existing software. It is an essential part of the software development cycle. To become a test automation engineer, you must have a proficiency in coding. In my opinion, you should know at least one mid-level coding language. It could be Java, JavaScript, or Python. After that, you also need to have the knowledge of testing tools and frameworks. In this course, I explain the different tools and paths, so you can make an informed decision before you hit the road. Mastering test automation can take years. Usually, you start as a junior engineer and take four to five years to become a senior. In the technical path, you will also see the software development engineer in test position and test architect position. The definition of these positions can vary from company to company, but in my opinion, they are both very senior positions. To become a software developer engineer in test, you must have experience in coding and in-depth knowledge of testing tools and frameworks. You can easily create frameworks from scratch and help other engineers to contribute them. Finally, in the test architect role, you work closely with the system architects and the teams. Test architects align and support the system architect to ensure that the testing roadmap and the functional roadmaps are aligned. Both the software development in test and the test architect positions can lead to the QA lead position. In this role, you lead a number of test automation engineers. There are so many roles and career paths in software testing industry. It can be a bit of confusing to understand the difference between the functions and the responsibilities. In this lesson, I have tried to explain to you my understanding of those positions. In the following lessons, I will discuss the skills required for the test automation engineering position. Thank you so much for watching and see you at the next lesson.